What are the six videos that every business owner should create first when doing YouTube ads? In this video, this is part four of our six part series on YouTube ads and how you can get started even if you know nothing about YouTube ads, if you've done nothing with YouTube ads in the past, you can watch these videos and you can get started advertising for your business. Stay tuned. Now, like I mentioned, this is part four. Down in the description, I'm gonna put the previous three videos that you can watch. Hopefully you'll start to watch that from video one, two, and three, and you'll land here, and you'll have a really good understanding of the type of videos that you should make and why you should be making them. So make sure you click down in the description and you watch those videos. But on this video, we're gonna talk about topics based targeting and why topics are a great thing to do when you are in a profession or you're in a niche or vertical where you don't get a lot of search volume, meaning you're in something that might be a little obscure or something that's a little bit more hard to find, then you can use topics as a great way to get in front of people because it's more broad, it's more generic. And in this video, we're gonna talk about how to set those up, how to create topics-based targeting, and my recommendation to disqualify people who are in that broad audience so you're not wasting money on them. So let's get started first by going to the computer and watching how to create these videos. When you're in your Google Ads dashboard, you're gonna to wanna to go over to campaigns. You're gonna to wanna to click on the blue circle. You're gonna click on new campaign. And in this example, we're just gonna use product brand and consideration, but this will work for any of them. Select video hit continue, and on the next screen, you're just gonna go ahead and scroll down. This is where you set up your ad, and right here in the content where your ads show, you're gonna click on topics. And with topics, you're going to, you're gonna see you have a wide variety of topics here from arts and entertainment, audios and vehicles, books and literature, games, all over. So let's just go, let's just pick one here. We're gonna pick audio, or autos and vehicles. Let's go ahead and click on that. And you'll see it has a little drop down here. You can even choose any of these. So you have motor vehicles by type, commercial vehicles. If you click on the drop down, you'll see it's cargo trucks and trailers. Uh, but you really have a lot to choose from. Motor vehicle by brand. So you have Audi, you have BMW, Bentley, Buick. You have all of this stuff. So if people are watching content related to any of this, like BMW, then you can get in front of them. Now, this could be very broad and generic because it could be people buying BMWs. It could be people servicing BMWs, all, all the like. But you can really see if you scroll down what they have. If you click on Nissan, you can go to specifically to Nissan Infinity topics. Uh, so it's really broad uh, and you have a lot of really great options here just within this one subcategory of autos and vehicles. Toyota, you could do Lexus and Zon on so it's it's you can get really imaginative when you are thinking about your topics and if I just click on finance here I'll see I have all these so uh, accounting and auditing banking uh, billing invoices bookkeeping tax preparation planning uh, ATMs yeah, uh, the list goes on it's there's really a lot here that Google gives us when it comes to topics based targeting but let's just choose vehicles here so we're gonna do uh, Bentley BMW Audi let's see we can do Lamborghini we can do Maserati we can do some of these luxury vehicles let's throw a Land Rover in there and if I even just kind of go up to uh, if I go to the search and I type in luxury vehicles, then I'll see that category just for luxury vehicles come up. So it should be, let's do Cadillac and let's see here. There we are, luxury vehicles. We can select that. And I have all these topics that I could put my ad in front of. And this is really awesome because if I'm targeting something that's a niche specific to a type of vehicle, if I'm wanting to go up for a more affluent client, I can do that with this because this is what they're using. Now, when you're using topics-based targeting, I mentioned that it could be very broad. You get a lot of people in there. Just in the BMW example I showed you, it could have been people buying the BMW. It could have been people who are looking for parts for a BMW. It could have been people comparing a 2019 BMW to a 2018 or a 2020 BMW. It could have been compare and contrast. So it could have been very broad. So you want to make sure if you're selling a product or service that is catering to a BMW driver, that you want to be very specific in your script. This is where scripting is is so powerful. Scripting is very powerful regardless on all YouTube ads. You need to have a good script, but when you're targeting these broad things like topics, this is really where you need to cut through the noise and you need to start to disqualify people who don't match what you're looking for. So you want to specify, because if you remember, 
with YouTube ads, you don't pay for a single ad unless someone watches 30 seconds or more of it, or they click to go to your website. So if you want to try to get the people who might be asleep at the wheel and are just running up your ad spend, then really hit to start to hammer home who this is best for, who this is perfect for, your ideal audience. Every single time, if you just hit that, you'll start to get the people who don't, who are just there for repair service or they don't even own a BMW, you can get them out of the audience if you're trying to sell them insurance or if you're trying to sell them something else. So be very specific. Be very specific in your script when you're using topics-based targeting. Topics, like I mentioned, are great for niches and verticals where there's not a templated in-market audience for you to go after. When it's not something that is just kind of uh, already preconditioned, or if you're maybe in something that's a little bit more obscure, you can look at various broad topics around your niche, around health, fitness, uh, financial services, or different products or services. You can you can start to kind of hone in, and your script is going to allow you to get the people out of the audience who. Don't qualify and it's going to allow you to pinpoint the people who are. Topics-based targeting is great. Again, I suggest that you split test this against the other audiences. Use the keyword campaigns that we talked about in video number one. Use the in-market audiences that we talked about in video number two and see where you're going to have success in your location for your audience. It could be anywhere. I see some of our clients, they do really, really well with topics. Some of them not so well. Some of them do better with keywords. And so it's important to analyze and evaluate based on the data, based on the metrics, what's working for you. If you like this video, do me a huge favor, click on the subscribe button, subscribe to our channel where we're delivering this content on a regular basis, trying to help you understand YouTube ads in a way that's going to help you build your brand, build your business, and build your bottom line. Subscribe to the channel, like this video, and comment below. Let me know how you plan on using topics in your YouTube ads, and let me know if you've had success or if you've had failures. I'd love to try to engage with you and see how we can help you go to that new level. So remember, subscribe, like this video, comment. We'll see you on the next video.